Hey everybody, first of all, thanks for joining me. We are headed to the Cheesecake Factory tonight. And I know what you're thinking, Cheesecake Factory? What's that got to do with spicy food? Well, they do have a few spicy things on their menu. And I am driving as I'm doing this, so don't do this. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot, see what the spiciest thing they have on the menu is there. We'll pick it back up when we get there. All right, and we have arrived. I, uh, I've only been here a couple times. The uh, lighting is not the greatest, so hopefully you can see this. This particular cheesecake factory is in Kettering, Ohio. And believe it or not, it's not that late in the evening. It gets so dark so quick here in Ohio this time of year that all the good lights gone by the time you you know get out off of work and you know all that kind of jazz. But this is the only cheesecake factory I've ever been to, and only the third time I've been here. Hopefully, the uh, spicy dish I'm choosing tonight is good. I'll see you inside. All right, we are inside the Cheesecake Factory. A little bit dark in here, but otherwise pretty nice. Get ready to order and uh, I'll catch up with you then. All right, for an appetizer, we have the Tex-Mex egg rolls here. They're spicy chicken, corn, black beans, peppers, onions, and melted cheese. Served with an avocado cream sauce. And it looks like pico, but they call it salsa. They look really good. Let's give it a try. We'll go no salsa here first. Spice wise, yeah, it's not very spicy. Maybe a one out of ten. Taste though, really good. I do like these. My main dish is going to be the spicy cashew chicken. I asked the waitress, and it's supposed to be the spiciest dish there. All right, here we go. I've actually tried this already. It uh, tastes as good as it looks. It's, uh, it's pretty good. The actual description of the spicy cashew chicken says, a very spicy Mandarin style dish with green onions and roasted cashews served over rice. I do taste the Mandarin style in it. It's really good. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Got some pep, some tang. Um, on a, as far as spice, on a scale of one to 10, like one being like Taco Bell mild sauce or hot sauce, 10 being like projectile vomiting. Um, I'd say this is probably about a two-ish, somewhere around in there. Uh, so for spice, I mean, if you're looking for a lot of spice, this isn't it, but for flavor, it's really good. I'll have my wife try it here, uh, see what she says. I'll give her this much. She has a mouthful of food right now. Of course, I gave it to her when she had taken a bite of something else. Tell me what you think. It does taste good. I can taste the mandarin. And I would rate it about a five. <laughs> Definitely a five. I can feel it in my throat. She says she can feel it in her throat. Gave, it? gave it a five. Oh, you can't try it. Okay. The, uh, this is good. Um, I'm not sure it's 1850 good, but it's good. Uh, we're gonna get some cheesecake afterwards, so I uh, don't have any spicy cheesecake, unfortunately. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.